This video is brought to you by Battleaxe. Hey, it's Jake, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what's quickly becoming one of the most used tools for me in After Effects, Anubis. Let's take a look. If you're not already aware, Anubis is a tool for After Effects that allows you to export a high quality MP4 with a single button click. No need for media encoder, and it even works in Premiere, Photoshop, and even Adobe Animate. So let me just show you what it looks like. This is Anubis right here. I've got it docked in my panel. There's just a single button. I have an animation going on down here of Pac-Man eating some of those pellets. If I just click the button, it's going to ask me where I wanna save it. This works just fine. I'm gonna select that folder. Anubis is automatically gonna send that to the render queue, export the uncompressed version, and then compress it just like that. Open up the folder, and here is my compressed MP4. It came through really great quality, really small file size, and that's all I had to do, one single button click. And if that's all Anubis was, honestly, that would be enough because now I don't have to use Media Encoder and it's really quick to compress that file. It says right there, compression time 0.6 seconds for a three second clip, really, really fast, really high quality. But there's so much more that you can customize Anubis to do that makes it so much more valuable than what you just saw. So let's take a look at the options. I'm just gonna twirl those down. And first of all, we have the file name. This is going to just name it after the comp. So if I switch to a different comp, that will update. But I could also type in a custom name here. If I said Pac-Man eating, then it's going to name it that. It's not that complicated. I'm gonna clear that out. Next is the export path. By default, it's just going to ask you where you wanna save every time, but I could click on this and choose a folder. And then that's gonna export without the prompt. But one of my favorite features is the ability to just check this box, which will turn it to a relative path to the After Effects project file. So that means it's going to export to wherever your project file already is. Or I could specify which folder relative to that project file directory that I wanna to save to. So this is where my After Effects project lives, but I could back out a few and say, go to this output folder and select that folder. And it's automatically gonna add these little tokens that navigate up a couple of folders and then looks for that output folder. And you might be thinking that's way more complicated than it needs to be when I could have just exported directly to that folder. But the point of this relative path is so that you can actually set up folder structures that will automatically put your file right where you want it every single time. So let me just clear this out so it's back to its original relative path. It's in the directory that my After Effects project is in. I could come up here to this dropdown where we have naming tokens, and these are going to generate file names based on specific criteria. So if I wanted to name my file after the comp name, I'll click on the comp name token. That will name it Pac-Man. But I could also say use the parent folder token, and that's gonna be this dot dot slash. I'm gonna cut that and paste it at the beginning. So that's gonna go up one directory from my project file. I'll paste it again so I have two directories. And then I'll type in output and then another slash. And that's going to look for that output folder that I already navigated to and put my file in there named after the comp. Now this is literally recreating what I had just set up using the relative path folder and selecting that output folder. But the benefit of doing it this way with the naming tokens and the relative path is that it doesn't matter what project you're working on now or what directory your file actually is in, this is going to maintain that structure of going up two directories from wherever your After Effects project is, finding that output folder or creating one if it's not there already and putting the file name in that folder. That's why it's so powerful because you can be working with a folder structure that you've set up or that your client or employer has set up and it will always respect that folder structure using these naming tokens. I have specific folder structures for my YouTube videos, so I could change all these naming tokens in Anubis to work to where these saved files will always end up where I want them. Or if I'm doing a client gig and the folder structure changes a little bit, I can again do that. Or I could set this up to like a renders folder on a local drive that's just a global catch all, this is where I want my renders to go, but then set up these naming tokens to date them so I can think, what was I doing on the 25th? I can just go to that folder, there's my exports, and I always know where they are. It's super, super powerful. So let me just click it again. It'll render it, compress it, and then bring it up in the file explorer so I can see. There it is. It's added it right to that output folder, again, relative to my After Effects project file, which is right there. Super cool feature, and there's so many more tokens that you can use. These are just the most common ones. There's actually a full list of all the available tokens on Battleaxe's website. I'll put a link in the description. But what's so cool about this is that you can use these tokens for not only the file name, but also folder name. So if you wanted to build a folder structure that was dated, you could do that. You could put the comp name or the project name as a folder. It's totally 
totally customizable and really, really smart. So let me just close those out and we'll leave these back to their defaults. Another great feature of Anubis is the ability to batch export comps in After Effects. So if I select some of these other comps I have in here, just different aspect ratios, maybe for different social media platforms, I can select as many comps as I want. And when I move my mouse over here, all of those comp names are gonna show up in the file name. Now, the problem with this is that while it's compressing and, and exporting all of that out, it's gonna tie up After Effects and won't be able to do anything. So if I come down here to the background render checkbox and enable that, then I can click the Anubis button, choose the folder I want it to go to, and this is gonna happen in the background now. So I can go right back to my composition, jump into anything I want, and continue working in After Effects without any interference with Anubis. It's gonna just render all of those videos in the background, again, based on the work area, then compress each one of them. And we still have that progress bar at the bottom, so we know that everything is still working. And there we go, all four versions of my animation are right there, nice and compressed, and I didn't have to stop working in After Effects because of that background rendering. Another awesome feature of Anubis is that there are no compression settings to mess with. You just have low, medium, and high quality. There actually is a way to modify the compression settings if you really wanna deal with that, but in my experience, you really don't need to. I almost always have it on high. If the file size is large, I'll turn that off and turn medium on, but you can actually turn on any combination of these and we'll export each. So if I wanted to say low and high, I'll turn off my background renderer, and let's just say relative to the project file, I'll click on the Anubis button. It's gonna export and compress both of those at the same time, and then bring those up so I can see we have a high quality and a low quality. The high quality is almost 10 megabytes, the low quality is less than a megabyte. But look, the quality is still great. Yes, there is some artifacting, some compression, but that's to be expected. We're compressing it with low quality. The point is you can compress multiple versions at once. So if you want to export low, medium, and high, and then see which one is good enough quality for whatever your use is, you can do that and then just delete the ones that you don't use. You can also very easily resize videos just by clicking on the resize button and typing in whatever width you want the new version to be. This is great if you're trying to just email or send or maybe over Slack a smaller version of your animation that just keeps the file size down even further. There's a lot you can do here and it's just really customizable, but what's great about it is once you've set it all up, just collapse that and you don't have to think about it anymore. You just hit the export button and you know it's gonna do what you're expecting it to. Some other really cool features of Anubis are the send to app buttons. This is kind of like Overlord in the sense that you can export and compress the MP4 and then automatically import it into Photoshop, Animate, or Premiere. So these buttons work exactly like this button up here. It's just that it's gonna send it over to one of these apps. So I'll just click on the Photoshop button. Again, it's gonna send it to the render queue render out the uncompressed version, compress the video, open up the directory, as well as open up Photoshop for me. I didn't have it open, so it opened that up and put my video in there and I can play it back right in Photoshop. This is great for cell animation if you're trying to send some reference from After Effects or probably Animate would be more likely into Photoshop and then do more work there. This also works really great side by side with Time Lord. But as you can see, Anubis is open in Photoshop as well. So I could take this video file and say, send it to Animate and it's gonna do the exact same thing. It will compress that video file and then open up Animate and import that into the project so I can get to work in there. And there you go, just like that, I have my animation inside of Animate. So all really powerful features of Anubis, but what it all comes down to is just simplifying the exporting process. And these little extra features are just the icing on top that makes it so much more of a valuable tool. So I hope that you will go check out Anubis. Like I said, it's quickly becoming one of my most used tools in After Effects, one of my favorites from Battle Axe, just because of how simple it is and how effective it is at what should be a simple process, but can often be pretty tedious. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that you found it useful. Thank you so much to all of my patrons for all the support that you give me over on Patreon. If you're interested, check the link in the description. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.